please activate the subtitles. My name is Roger Color, and this video is going to be very quick. This is part of a series of videos named Real Life English and it is exactly 23 to 8 p.m. right now. I'm driving my car right now with my girlfriend, she's here right by my side and we're going to a restaurant. We haven't made up our minds about where to go to exactly but it will probably be either Japanese food or Italian food. I'm not sure where we'll eat but I know one thing for sure. We are starving. <laughs> I'm driving to the mall right now, to the shopping centre. We'll definitely think of a good place to eat before getting there. It doesn't really matter where I'll eat because I'm not a fussy eater. A fussy eater is a person who is extremely picky when it comes to choosing what to eat. And I'm not a fussy eater whatsoever. But I know what you're thinking. Fussy, right? Nice word. Fussy rhymes with... Bananas. <laughs> Never mind. Don't take me seriously today. Don't take me seriously because when I'm hungry, whenever I'm hungry, I get silly. And believe me, I'm starving. So I'm extremely silly right now. I'm sillier than the usual. I remember that I used to be a vegetarian back in the day when I lived with my mother. But after some time, I moved out and I started living by myself and things drastically changed. It is too hard to keep a vegetarian life when you live by yourself and when you're lazy. And I was really lazy when I was very young. I remember that the first month that I was living by myself, everything was new and exciting. I was still living in London and I remember a funny thing related to cooking that happened to me and I'll share with you right now. So I had just started living by myself and I was enthusiastic about doing my own things. And coincidentally, I had just watched the movie named Ratatouille. Do you remember this movie? It's about a mouse who could cook and this mouse was so intelligent and so creative, you know, creating different kinds of food. And I was really, I don't know, influenced by the movie and I started creating my own kind of food. And for some reason I started watching things like Hell's Kitchen or Masterchef and stuff like that. And I thought to myself, all I need to do is follow a recipe. I thought about that every day but I was too lazy to actually cook anything. I mean, I cooked every day, but, but I didn't think out of the box, you know, I wanted to think out of the box. I really wanted to come up with something new, a new dish, but unfortunately the only thing I cooked was noodles. <laughs> I've got to confess that even to this day, my specialty is noodles, cup noodles. Oh, once my cousins, Dana and Peter, went to my little apartment and I thought that it would be a good opportunity for me to cook for them. But I only had noodles at home, cup noodles, so I thought, what if I think out of the box right now? What if I use the ingredients that I have here in my apartment in order to make something completely different, completely new? Something that nobody has ever cooked before. The thing is, I only had noodles and milk. So I went to the living room where my cousins were and I told them I would make cup noodles for all of us. But this time it would be something completely different because I would use milk instead of boiling water. Yes, I was thinking of using milk instead of water in the preparation of our noodles. Yes, I remember as if it had happened yesterday. They looked at me and laughed. They simply laughed. I felt so humiliated. <sighs> and I thought, but... This is a creative idea. I was really determined back then and because of that I went through with my idea. I went through with it and I thought... Oh, oops. They will see who will laugh last. I was determined to come up with a new dish and that's what I was doing. I would call it Milky Noodles. And maybe it would be famous with that recipe. I was so naive. However, I have to say that they laughed last. It was the most disgusting thing I'd ever eaten in my whole life. So, Peter, Dana, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. That was an awful idea. And you guys, what kind of food do you like? Do you like Italian food?
Oh, do you like seafood dishes? Seafood dishes. Do you like seafood? <laughs> I remember another funny thing. Once I was at a restaurant with a student of mine and I asked him, Hey man, would you like a seafood dish? And he asked me, What? I repeated, Seafood dish. Would you like a seafood dish? And he said, Mm hmm. Well, it has never happened. I just thought it would be funny to say that that way because it's like a pun. <laughs> oh, I've just noticed that my pun, would you like a seafood dish, will only make sense for people who speak Portuguese. So, if your first language is in Portuguese, I'm sorry. Well, my mobile battery is about to die, so I'll have to end the video right now. It was indeed a quick video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, like our page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Please join our group on Telegram and practice your English with voice messages and text messages. If you sympathize with my channel, please become a patron. Just click on the first link in the description of the video and become a patron. Thank you very much for everything and please answer this question. Are you a fussy eater? What's your favorite kind of food and, and would you like a sip of dish tonight with me? Thank you very much for everything and I'll see you next class. Mm -hmm.